92 days after VE Day, and here we go again in Piccadilly. After four years of war with Britain and America, and 37 hours after Russia joined in, Japan cracked. For Chinese the world over, it marked the virtual end of an eight-year war. Crowds jumped the gun on the official victory declaration when news flashed across the world that the Japs accepted the Potsdam surrender terms. But there was an if tacked on to the request. They wanted their son of heaven preserved. Emperor Hirohito, in whose presence no Japanese is supposed to lift his eyes. A news flashback to Pearl Harbor on December the 7th, 1941, gives a picture to remember when reading the Emperor's peace talk, which said he was ever anxious to enhance the cause of peace. Two atomic bombs were enough to seal the fate of Japan. Two explosions which heralded the birth of the atomic age. Backroom boys at a British secret experimental station test the armor-piercing qualities of the 12,000-pound bomb even as scientists were outdating them with uranium. Blast effects in slow motion are shown in these first pictures made available to Pathé. Spontaneous remarks of men and women in the street as the rising sun went down in the east. Well, what do you think of the news, Harry? Well, I think it's grand news. But after being on northern convoys all the time, I think it's a pity we didn't get a chance to have a go at the dirty yellow what's-the-names. Of course, I'm only a housewife, but I'm so glad the Japanese are defeated and the war, world war is over. Well, I'm glad, as we all are, that the Japanese have been defeated. But in a way, I'm rather sorry that they've caved in so quickly because I know there are thousands and thousands of Australians over here like myself who are only too glad and too willing to go and have a crack at them, but of course now they've had it. Oh, it's really wonderful. I'm so pleased because it means that my husband, who is in West Africa, will be home soon. And so are my two brothers, one in Malta and one in India. Crowds rushed number 10 Downing Street, where service chiefs and cabinet ministers were in consultation with the prime minister. The new weapon and total victory elbow each other for headlines. The atomic bomb harnesses the power of the universe. This newsreel interviewed the man who supervised research in Britain on the atomic bomb, Sir John Anderson, scientist and statesman. The coming of this new weapon will affect profoundly all ideas of military strategy. But we must pray that the statesmen of all the nations will see here not a terrifying addition to the panoply of war, but a compelling reason for working out new safeguards for world peace and security.